So in this video, we're going to look at actually adding a second level. So how do we go about this? Well, we know that levels are called layouts in Construct. And if we scroll up, we've got our layout folder here. So there's two ways that we can do this. First method is we can duplicate our layout. And this gives us a second one, and we can rename it if we want. So we can call them layout one, layout two, call them level one, level two, green hill zone, world one, etc etc so we've got layout 2 now now layout 2 is a complete copy meaning that everything's transferred over including everything on the screen any layers so if you've got a ui layer that will be transferred across any height or width changes any camera changes all of that copies over so this is probably the recommended method that i suggest using if you've got a very complex level however and there's so much stuff that you want to change or get rid of you might want to create a level from scratch so we right click on layouts, add a layout, and it's gonna say, do we want to add an event sheet? So we're just gonna add layout only. I'll explain what it means by event sheet in just a second. So now we've got layout three. Layout three is completely empty. Now, if I was to quickly build a level using layout three, so I'm gonna grab a platform, and I'm gonna grab my player, and I run it. you'll see that it's completely empty to what it was before. But it still works. And we go to layout three because that was the page that we were on when we pressed run. When we run the game from a fresh build, it'll start with layout one because that's the one at the top there. So with the event sheet, we want to make sure we've got event sheet one. This means it's gonna obey the properties of this event sheet here. If we don't have that, we lose everything such as being able to change levels, being able to get hurt by enemies, anything like that. So it's really important that we make sure that we've got the event sheet enabled. If we want to have a completely different event sheet for that particular level and have that level follow different rules, then we can do that. But most of the time you would probably following the same event sheet you've set up before. So how do we get from level one to level two or level three? So I've created a little flag sprite it doesn't do anything, it's got no behaviors attached to it, it's just a little flag that I've created. So what I want to do is set up that when our player touches this, they go to the next level. So we're going to add an event, and we're going to say when player, let's overlap in another object, and that's going to be checkpoint 2. What do we want them to do? Well, we can go to system, and there's a nice system option, which is called go to layout. And go to layout allows us to pick which layout we go to when they touch that particular flag. So that's one option you might want to look at. The second option you might want to look at is go to next or previous layout. The benefit of choosing this over the other method is this is one line of code that you can use to run your whole game. So for example, let's go back to layout one and let's run. So here's our first game. We run it. We get to the end, it now takes us to layout two. Layout two being a complete duplicate of our first layout. We then run it again, and this is gonna to go to the next one, which is now three. So this just means that by using the next layout, we have that smooth transition. But you might want secret exits where you go to a completely different level or a different room entirely. So you might want to change your code depending on that. 